Sponsored by GCP Sport and Tribal. Um, it's always good to be home, uh, especially this time of the year. It's not too much rugby on, so after quite a long season, I'm getting a rest. <laughs> um, but it is really good fun. Um, I've caught up with my old friends, uh, staying with the family. Um, yeah, good times. It's nice to be back. Okay, well, um, I guess you, the main difference is that uh, in Japan we're training every day. Um, and the training's quite long and hard, um, whereas you generally do short little bursts. Um, in Japan, we tend to do lots of 100-meter uh, running, 400-meter running, and whatnot, um, such to the extent that I actually got a bit of an injury from overtraining. But um, I guess that's life, and uh, you learn, move on, learn to stretch more. That's one of the main things I learned. Um, apart from that, um, one might, there's, there's been a lot of criticism of the uh, refereeing standards, and that's mainly from foreigners coming to Japan. Um, in Hong Kong, we've got some fantastic referees, and, and we, we don't have the luxury in Japan of your Toby Lothians, your Gabbies, and Patrick Quoks, who are all fantastic referees. Um, however, um, in Japan this year, to Tobias Lothian actually um, refereed one game. Happened to be the biggest upset of the season coincidentally when Toby was refereeing so um, I heard it was a, a good game but it's uh, that's just one of the things you know that uh, one of the differences we have here in Japan there in Japan sorry um, lifestyle wise it's um, pretty different from Hong Kong not many people can speak English over there and I can't speak Japanese so I struggled a little bit there's obviously no yoga there which is a nightmare for us um, Japanese food was um, pretty good. We all got pretty used to that. Bit of tempura and a uh, anogomiyaki. Konomiyaki. <laughs> See, can't speak Japanese. But um, yeah, lifestyle-wise, um, we lived. It's very quiet, not built up. But um, I think we all enjoyed it towards the end. We all had a bike, bike each with a basket on the on the front, the bike, the bike basket, and uh, yeah, we had a good time. Apart from the obvious, Kenzo and Raiti, uh, my favourite player to play with was a guy called Joseph Vaca. Uh, thank God he was actually in our team, because if he wasn't, then we would have had an even harder time this season. Well, uh, my opportunities this year were slightly limited. However, I, I did get to play the Toyota Derby against Toyota Motors, and um, one of the guys in the opposition was Oreni Ai, who um, some might say has the license to do what he wants. And um, <clears throat> yeah, Mark might actually testify to the fact that he has the license and, and uh, he gave him a nice nice step and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, a nice license step or Reni Ai step. And um, yeah, he's, he's quite impressive and he's carving it up in uh, Japan. Um, there are a few big names that I played against this year. Probably the biggest and the one I was most privileged to play against was um, probably Stephen Larkham, ex-Wallaby. But um, as Kenny said, I did get completely Maori stepped by a couple of them. Rico Gear did me, and um, Arena he completely did me. So uh, yeah, it was really good. Yes, well, 2011-2012 uh, season, I'm hoping to remain injury free and uh, just uh, get out on the paddock as much as possible. And um, apart from that, um, the growth of Rugby Asia Channel Japan um, we've got a, a huge office and a number of employees, uh, a huge number, a number nonetheless, of uh, employees and hoping to grow that and um, just expand, basically. And that's, that's my goal for 2011-2012 season. Uh, my goal for 2011-12 is to continue watching quality videos on Rugby Asia Channel, obviously. Um, next year for me, um, I'm going to be quite vague, I've got a few things in the pipeline. Um, after my recent skiing adventures, um, I might turn into a pro skier. Coastal Fitness have asked for me to come back and um, take over the Empire. Oh, the Empire! It's an army empire. Or help with the Empire, not take over. Ed Haynes wouldn't like that. Help with the Empire. <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, or maybe you know I might just pack this ru rugby lark in. I've got a bad shoulder these days, so you might just see me behind the counter in um, Happy Valley Yoga. Who knows? I'm Mark Wright. I'm Rowan Vardy. I'm Kenzo Fanel. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Rugby, Rugby Asia, Asia Channel. Channel. Sayonara! Sayonara.